sweet uniforms, awesome hardware, and world domination. What's not to like about joining the army? Welcome to Delta Squad. Where are we going? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game armies. Gentlemen, we're lucky to have you back. For this list, we ranked the most powerful, iconic, and creative armies in video games. They must have large numbers, so no single squads, and they must originate from video games, which rules out guys like the Warhammer Imperial Guard because they were in a tabletop game first. We're not including criminal gangs like Team Rocket, as those fall in a different category for a different list. Also, as usual, one entry per franchise. For now, relax and watch as my net runners dance through the web of cyberspace. Number 10, The Horde, Warcraft series. As mortal armies rush blindly towards their doom, the burning shadow comes to consume us all. Orcs might not be the friendliest creatures, but they're willing to cooperate with other races if it means improving their chances of dominating the world of Azeroth. Now, let's get out of here. Although, they'd prefer if those races were green or furry. An alliance that includes trolls, goblins, and even the oddly placed blood elves, the Horde are as numerous as they are foul-smelling. Although they were once under the control of the demonic Burning Legion, under the command of Thrall, they were able to break from their bondage and win their freedom. At last, we've reached our landing site. Number 9, Cell, Crisis Series. Nice. Standing for Krynak Enforcement and Local Logistics, the Cell are the military-industrial complex run wild. After the extraterrestrial Ceph begin their invasion of Earth, this private military company steps in to help out. But who's to say that they can't make a little extra money on the side from all that fancy new alien technology? It's Cell. They're channeling energy from alien technology, running their entire global power grid of a single Ceph machine inside this dome. And if a few citizens were to get interned or exterminated in this money-making venture, it really wouldn't be Cell's fault, now would it? Besides, nobody was really using New York anymore anyway. Welcome to New York, version 2.0. Number 8, the new Nazi army, Wolfenstein, the New Order. <laughs> Yes, Nazis were a real-life army, but these guys are technologically advanced Nazis that have robot dogs and giant mech suits, and got the atomic bomb first. So it's up to you, playing as Captain BJ Blazkowicz, to stop them. It's not going to be easy, since they've taken over most of the major countries around the world, and they even have a base on the moon to strengthen their stranglehold on the Earth. There's no such thing as not scary Nazis, but super Nazis from an alternate timeline? Super scary. Ah! Ah! Number 7, Hellgast, Killzone series. My people, sons and daughters of Helgan, for many years we have been a broken nation. From future Nazis to space Nazis, the mighty Helgen Empire see themselves as a superior race that should rule over human life. After colonizing the harsh planet of Helgen, they refocus their army to be more concentrated on highly trained soldiers to wage war on their former world of Vecta. This is our home too! That is, until their own planet gets destroyed and the remaining Helgast are forced to live on Vecta. But as you can expect, neither side is very happy about this new living arrangement. Jesus, how many people were down there? Number six, the Combine. Half-Life series. You, citizen, come with me. This alien empire have conquered various races across the universe. They exploit the worsening of a portal storm at the end of the first game and use the opening to invade the Earth and defeat all of the world's superpowers in a mere seven hours. Then they turn the majority of the planet's major cities into a police state. As protagonist Gordon Freeman, it's up to you and your fellow resistance soldiers to fight back against this evil alien dictatorship. Number 5, The Locust Horde, Gears of War series. The last thing you'd expect would be a subterranean sentient race bursting to the surface to wipe out everything humans hold dear. 
which is pretty much what the Locusts did on the day of their attack, known as Emergence Day, driving humanity to the edge of extinction. Not just an army of really ugly humanoids, the Locusts come in all shapes and sizes, from small skittering suicide bomber types known as Clickers, to the enormous T-Rex-sized rideable tanks known as Brumax. In a way, I pity them. But humanity, as always, brought this war upon itself. Number four, the Zerg Swarm, StarCraft series. Yeah, I got your Zerg right here. <laughs> Ambitious aliens are a common theme on this list. These insectoids are hoping to perfect their gene pool by assimilating other races, like the humanoid Terrans and the technologically advanced Protoss. Another alien race that comes in a variety of shapes, the Zerg can morph and evolve into a number of terrifying and deadly forms in order to wage war. Although individual Zerg can be terrifying enough, their greatest strength is in numbers, often overwhelming their enemies in massive groups. Controlled by a hive mind collective, they work in brutal unison. Now, at last, on this world, vengeance shall be mine. Number three, The Covenant, Halo series. And because of our success, when The Covenant invaded, we were ready. This FPS series would be nothing without this religious alliance of multiple alien races, who see humanity's defiance of their order as heresy and declare holy war to wipe out the entire human race. Yet the humans were able to evade your ships, land on the sacred ring, and desecrate it with their filthy footsteps. Made up of several races, the Covenants serve as both the primary antagonist and as a metaphor for the dangers of fanaticism. Their biggest show of strength came when they attacked the human stronghold planet known as Reach which they completely obliterated in their first assault against the human colonies. The fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. Sir, additional contacts. Boarding craft and lots of them. Number two, the Brotherhood of Nod, Command and Conquer series. Even though they're human, these guys are more intimidating than a lot of the aliens we've been talking about. Their mysterious global movement is led by the enigmatic Kane. In the name They harness the mysterious and lethal alien mineral known as Tiberium, using religious ideology to take advantage of less privileged nations and forge a new global superpower. While the motives of Cain are shrouded in mystery, the Brotherhood's wish to spread Tiberium across the planet to strengthen their influence result in three world wars against their sworn enemies, the GDI. Rule of thumb, Hassan. You can't kill the Messiah. Before we get to our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Number one, the Reapers, Mass Effect series. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. These synthetic, organic, hybrid spaceships would literally obliterate any other army on this list without even blinking. These million-year-old mechanical beings lurk in the dark space outside the Milky Way galaxy, harvesting the beings and knowledge from every advanced civilization every 50,000 years to build more Reapers. Worse still, they have the ability to indoctrinate any other species around them in order to cause infighting and weaken resistance against them. Even then, they're so powerful that it takes a united galaxy to even stand a chance against them. This is it, everyone. Be ready on my signal. Fire. Do 
you agree with our list? No! Which video game army did you want to enlist in? For more powerful top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We will win this war. It's only a matter of time.